Hi, this is Shira Rubinoff. We're going to discuss how to be secure across Zoom. Here are my top six tips for you. Obviously, there are others, but these are my highlights that you can do to secure yourself across Zoom. Number one, password protect your sessions. Having a password on your sessions helps to keep other people away from infiltrating your sessions and keeping Zoom bombers away. They will look to find others who are not password protected. Number two, use a Zoom waiting room. Think of it like a doctor's office. People come to your waiting room and wait to be allowed in. And as an administrator, you could allow everyone in at once, or you could slowly allow people in one by one as you decide who can come in to your Zoom meeting. I will also say be careful and be sure to turn off your join before host feature. That is critical when you're using the waiting room. Number three, lock your meeting. This is very important as well. What this does is once you've allowed people into your Zoom meeting, nobody else can join. So think about that waiting room again. You're slowly allowing people in or you allow everyone in at once and then it's locked. Nobody else could come in. You are locking down that session to make sure no Zoom bombers come into your Zoom meeting. Number four, do not share Zoom meeting credentials across social media or in large email blasts. What you should do is let people know about your Zoom meeting and have to pre-register to get the proper credentials to log into your Zoom meeting. What this does is again, it allows people to come to that waiting room, if you're using that waiting room, who are already pre-registered and have the right credentials to get in, and again, keeps those Zoom bombers at bay. You are only allowing people in with the credentials, you're slowly allowing them in your waiting room, and you're locking your sessions. One, two, and three, all connected over there. Number five, be aware of your surroundings. While we have moved to remote work, we have lots of things going on around us. We are working from our homes, we have people from our families, we may have roommates, we have all sorts of things around us. We may have private information. Think about some personal information that might be on your desk or on your walls. What could happen over here is people can grab your credentials and fish you, steal your identity, and cause you lots of problems. So you want to be sure to check your surroundings, not just from people, but of credentials and private information. Make sure that none of that is visible during your Zoom meeting. Number six, do not have confidential conversations over Zoom. Zoom software may have security vulnerabilities in it. With increased traffic across Zoom, hackers may be looking for a way to steal identity and exploit users. Best to have these kind of conversations on another platform. So think about it like this. If anything that you don't want broadcasted across or anything that could be problematic for your organization, be sure to have it across a secure environment that you know is secure. Thank you very much. I look forward to talking to you again soon.